Hi everyone, today we are going to take a look at using Zapier to connect Salesforce and Promoter. Uh, on this video we're actually going to pass new contacts from Salesforce into Promoter so that they can get surveyed. Um, so here I am, we're logged into our Zapier account. Uh, we'll start by clicking the Make a Zap button up here. And then of course we need to search for the app. Um, obviously if we're pushing uh, contacts from Salesforce through Promoter, the first step will start with Salesforce uh, and we'll do it whenever we get a new contact. Uh, I've already got my Salesforce account linked up here, but if you didn't, you could click on the connect a new account button here. Uh, it'll ask for your Salesforce login information and we'll connect it that way. Uh, it tests to see that you've got existing contacts in there. I should have one saved in our Salesforce account, which you do, so we can move forward. Um, the next step is, is a little bit optional in that um, if you're only using Salesforce as a CRM and any contact in there would be someone you'd want to survey, you don't necessarily need to add a filter. Um, however, if Salesforce is being used in your organization as a, you know, uh, a sales tool, You'll, make, you'll want to make sure that you uh, add a filter similar to what I'm about to show you here. So uh, what I want to do is make sure that uh, the contact is in an active account versus uh, being in a prospect, uh, as a prospect. So uh, when you click here, you can see all the different uh, filters, uh, information that you've got saved in your Salesforce instance, uh, I go down to account status, so it's going to filter by account status and only continue if the account status said, uh, actually that's not what I want, we want to do exactly matches because I know exactly what it would say and the account status would be active. You can actually filter by any item that you have saved, any, any field that you have saved on the contact level in your Salesforce instance. Uh, so if there are other filters you wanted to add, you could certainly do that here as well. So I'll click continue, and it's going to test just to make sure that we've got active set in there, and it lets me know that this zap would move forward with the contact that uh, it used from the sample. So we'll click finish. Uh, then we need to add an additional step. This is where we will actually connect it to Promoter. And so we get three options here. Um, the unsubscribe a contact, if you wanted to use this uh, to push unsubscribes that are made within your Salesforce instance, you could do that. Um, you could add or update a contact, but uh, in this video we're actually looking to survey those contacts. So we want to click on survey contact. Uh, I've already got my promoter account saved, but again you could collect the, click on the connect a new account uh, so that you could add your account. It will ask for your API key, so if you're in your instance of Salesforce, you can click over here click on API and this will give you the API key that it's going to ask for. Click save and continue uh, and now it's going to ask us which fields we want to push from Salesforce into Promoter. Uh, you have to tell it which campaign you want it to send from. I'll use my trial campaign. Then it's going to ask for the email address. Uh, we're going to pull the email address from the new contact information. We've got Jane Doe. Uh, you can pass in, uh, again, this is optional here, but you can pass in uh, first and last name information. And uh, then we have the, the attributes. So these are things that you can filter on in your instance of promoter. So if I want to filter on, um, you know, job title, click on that and then it'll pull from Salesforce all the information in, for that account, uh, for that customer. And so you know, it's CTO. So now every time a new contact is added to Salesforce and is pushed into Promoter, it will also push over their job title. Uh, click Continue. Uh, it's just going to show me what information is going to get pushed over. And I click Create and Continue. And it says the test was successful. So everything is good to go. You click on Finish. Uh, name your zap. So Salesforce to Promoter and then you would just turn this on. Now when we click over here, uh, one last thing I want to show you is uh, when you're setting up your campaign to accept contacts via Zapier, you can click on this. Uh, it'll ask you what list you want those to be added to. Select your list. Uh, which email template you want to use. Um, but what I want to get to is the send options here. So 
Whenever you're using an integration, we have this send option called the delivery delay. So if I add a contact today to Salesforce, that information is pushed over to my campaign in Promoter, but I don't want them to necessarily be, you know, if they just signed up today, I don't want them to be surveyed today because they haven't had a chance to use the platform. So I can add a delivery delay. Um, so I may set like 15 days. That way they've had a chance to use the system before they receive that survey. So the system will automatically schedule the survey, but it'll do it 15 days in advance. Uh, so if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to our support team. Uh, hopefully this was helpful, and uh, I will see you soon.